Cause we just tryna get it poppin' what's good Yeah, yeah You, you know all my bitches love it when you get How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness. Happy Valentine's Day. Whether you're watching this video in the morning, afternoon time, night time, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you are enjoying this day. Um, well, I feel like, you know, um, Valentine's Day is a special day, but every day should be a special day. Um, but I feel like Valentine's Day, it just um, sets the mood for all things love so today i'm going to show you guys how to make just a simple breakfast um for you and your family um this video can be used for to a girl or a guy um whether you're trying to surprise your woman or your man um this video is for you so enjoy this video don't forget to like subscribe and share it with all your loved ones and friends and whoever you think this video will be useful for. Hello, both folks. So today, we're going to make a Valentine Day breakfast. We're gonna make some cheesy eggs heart-shaped bacon, some um, pancakes and waffles, and um, sausages. So, I'll show you guys how I make it. And of course, we have some strawberries. So here you see me cut off the ends of the bacon, which is basically the fat. Fold the bacon so it will make it thicker, as you see me do. This should go without saying, but make sure you're washing your hand as you are dealing with meat. Alright, so let's preheat the oven to 400. So here you see me adding oil and butter. Uh, I'm ready to pour in my pancake mix. I am so sad that um, they changed the name for Auntie Jemima and changed it to something different. Have you guys heard about that? I wonder if it tastes the same. <laughs> So 
So depending on how I'm making my pancakes, sometimes I like to add a honey or syrup or chocolate chip, strawberries, whatever you have, you can add it. But this is how I like my pancakes. Sometimes I like adding syrup and sometimes I like adding some sugar to it just for flavor. All right, so the waffles are ready. I shake them with a, with a heart shape. Just like um, doing the pancakes. So now time to, of course, my hands are washed. I have some powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. It's all about the presentation, right? Okay. Think I... Let's try that one again. Oh. So that's that. So here I'll show you how to make heart-shaped strawberries. Cut the head in a triangle shape as you see me doing here. Then slice it in half, and there we have it, a heart-shaped strawberry. Okay, so let's do that again. You cut the shape in a triangle, as you see me doing here. And then you slice it in half, and we have a heart-shaped strawberry. Here you'll see me whisking some eggs. Excuse the noise in the background. My toddler is trying to cook as well. <laughs> the oil that you see me using is the oil that I gained from um, the sauce no from the bacon so I usually keep that to give some flavor to my eggs season your eggs or anything you will like I 
um, specifically like chicken bouillon. So you'll see me, well, you won't see it, but there's a touch of uh, chicken bouillon in here and also black pepper. I didn't have parsley, so I used basil. Note that if you're not a cheese person, you don't have to add cheese. I and my family, we enjoy cheesy omelet or eggs. So, yeah. If you are Italian or in Italy before or Europe, you know about Aquapana. Come on now. <laughs> If you have a towel like we do, don't forget their plate.
Until next time, the Bullfrog Queens. Bye-bye.